Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about antigen processing and presentation by MHC class 1 molecules. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So, if a virus infects a cell, it uses the host cell machinery to synthesize viral proteins. So, these viral proteins are whole antigens, right? Now, protein synthesis takes place in cytoplasm of host cell. These proteins become ubiquitinated. Viral proteins become ubiquitinated and are marked for proteasome degradation because we know when a protein is ubiquitinated, it is target for the proteasome degradation. Now, proteasome has proteolytic activities. Therefore, it breaks down these viral proteins into peptides. So, these peptides are fragment. These are fragment antigens. So, whole antigens are now cleaved by proteasome into fragment antigens. These peptides, these fragment antigens are 9 amino acid long. Now, these peptides travel to the rough endoplasmic reticule. So, this is the rough endoplasmic reticula. These fragments travel to the rough endoplasmic reticula. Now, membrane of rough endoplasmic reticulum consists of a protein. This protein, it is TAP, that is transporter associated with antigen processing. So, this protein is associated with the membrane of RER. This protein transports the peptides into the lumen of the RER. These viral peptides are now transported in the lumen of the RER via these TAP proteins. Also, within the endoplasmic reticulum, alpha and beta chains of MHC class 1 molecules are assembled and gets its proper shape and orientation by the help of some chaperon proteins including calnexin, calreticulin, binding immunoglobulin protein or BIP. So, what is happening? We can see the ribosome is present. It is associated with the RER. So, from this ribosome, MHC1 protein is produced. 
but it is not produced in the exact functionable form. So, MHC1 molecule contains two chains, alpha and beta to M. So, this alpha contains three domain, alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. Now, alpha chain and beta 2 M chain, these two chains are assembled in the lumen of the RER and a protein gets its exact shape and orientation. And this is achieved by the help of some chaperones. So we have seen the names of some chaperones which are helping in this process. Now once the peptide or fragment antigen is transported into the ER lumen, it binds to the MHC class 1 molecule here because MHC class 1 molecule is also formed in the ER lumen and the peptides are now also reached in the lumen. So they bind MHC class 1 molecule inside the lumen of the ER. Thus formed MHC antigen complex leads RER and transports or translocates to Golgi apparatus and moves finally to the plasma membrane. Once this complex reaches cell surface, so this is the complex, antigen MH2 1 binds plasma membrane. So once this complex binds plasma membrane, cytotoxic T cell or TC cell can recognize it. Now TC cell possesses T cell receptor and it also has co-receptor CD8 in its surface. PCR recognizes MHC bound antigen. So this TCR, T cell receptor recognizes MHC bound antigen. Whereas the core receptor CD8 recognizes alpha 3 domain alpha 3 domain of MHC class 1 molecule. Once TC cell recognizes virus infected cell it initiates a defensive mechanism to kill that cell. So we have understood that MHC1 processes and presents endogenous or intracellular antigens. The process by which whole antigens that is the viral proteins so, the process by which whole antigens are degraded 
to produce fragment antigens is known as antigen processing. Now these fragment antigens combine with MHC molecules inside the cell. The MHC antigen thus formed travels to the cell membrane. In the cell membrane, MHC displays its bound antigen to T cells. This is known as antigen presentation.